Welcome to Living With An Air Source Heat Pump and What To Expect. We're going to guide you through the basics of living with your new air source heat pump. First, let's understand your heat pump. Once set up, your air source heat pump is easy to operate. Remember, it operates at a lower flow temperature compared to traditional systems, meaning that your radiators might not feel as warm. But don't worry, because your room temperature will still be exactly where you want it. It's best to avoid turning the heat pump on and off frequently. They work most efficiently when maintaining a constant indoor temperature. The temperature sensor outdoors will decide how warm to make your radiators or underfloor heating, dependent on the ambient air temperature. This keeps the system really efficient as you're not using as much energy on those milder spring and autumn days. But what about cold weather performance? Your heat pump will continue to work effectively even in cold weather. And if you see steam or mist coming from behind the heat pump, do not worry. This is all part of the defrost cycle to remove any ice buildup when it's very, very cold outside and is completely normal. Make sure that the area around the outdoor unit remains as clear as possible, just to allow for the required airflow. Prevent weeds and plants from growing around the unit and remove any leaves or rubbish which may cause a restriction to the evaporator. And that's the aluminium fin grill part at the rear of the unit. The more air we can flow through this, the more efficient your system will be. It's equally as important not to restrict airflow at the front of the outdoor unit, so ensure there's at least a metre of clear space in front to move all that air that we've extracted the energy from away from the unit. Let's briefly touch on condensation management. You might notice that water drips from the outdoor unit, and this is completely normal condensation. If your unit is fitted with a drip tray like this one, just make sure there's no blockages. If you haven't got a drip tray, then the condensation from your unit will either be piped to a drain or soak away, or just drip onto a gravel bed beneath it. Lastly, let's talk about Legionella. Air source heat pumps store hot water like a traditional boiler with a cylinder. So it's important to ensure the water is boosted to 60 degrees once a week to prevent Legionella bacteria growth. And this is all managed automatically by your system settings. In conclusion, living with an air source heat pump is straightforward once you understand its little quirks. Embrace the benefits of efficient heating while reducing your environmental impact. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and information.